So I'm um, a web developer slash SEO. Um, done a bit of both. Um, uh, yeah, well, I develop a lot on WordPress and well, sort of decided to start mixing the two. So I, I built some WordPress plugins that do SEO and well, people seem to like it. Yeah, you've written some of the, some <laughs> of the really big uh, WordPress plugins. Uh, you get the, the Google sitemaps, right? Uh, I, I've done a uh, Google Analytics one and a WordPress SEO one that does XML sitemaps as well. Right. Indeed. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it, some of them have become quite popular over the years, which is always weird to see if, if you see like a, a hundred thousand people using your stuff and you know, like, that you still live in this normal house and you're like, I should have been Microsoft. I should have been charging people. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, you've actually you've just released uh, your your WordPress SEO plugin. So tell us a little bit about that because this is kind of like the ultimate designed as like the ultimate Mac Daddy SEO plugin for WordPress, right? That was uh, sort of the, the idea. Yeah, I I had uh, four or five plugins myself doing different things in SEO. And I kept explaining to people what the different plugins were for and I was like, yeah, people shouldn't be bothered with all this in um, they, it, SEO should be made easy and not harder by having to use 10 plugins to really optimize your blog. So I started to outline, I think this was over a year ago, I started to outline what should be in, in, a, in a WordPress SEO plugin that does it all. And um, yeah, I started building that and I, when I released the first beta like uh, two months ago, people were uh, quite enthusiastic about it so I was like okay let's keep going <laughs> so, so how, and, does, how does what you're doing uh, differ from some of the other ones like the the, the platinum SEO and the all-in-one SEO and things like that um, well basically platinum SEO and all-in-one SEO and and headspace and all, all of those plugins uh, all have very similar feature sets in that they allow you to uh, create an SEO title or set title templates for your pages that, that are used. And uh, they sometimes allow you to write a meta description or meta keywords tags, but they don't really give much feedback. So uh, what mine does is uh, it adds a snippet preview below your right box and it actually shows you uh, what your uh, page or what your p current post you're writing could look like as as a search result in Google and it lets you choose a focus keyword so and then checks whether you're actually using that focus keyword in the content you're writing. So it's really um, trying to help you optimize the content you write and then it does a whole slew of things on the back end, all technical stuff that you can, uh, that you actually have to configure by hand right now for which I'm working on. A, um, a configurator where you just answer a couple of questions and based on that it'll set the proper SEO settings for you because I think that's way too hard at the moment for people to do well. So um, it's uh, on the one hand it's a complete thing to do all the technical stuff on the back end but for a, a decent uh, WordPress install that's like you, you can maybe win 10% there and all the other SEO gains you can get, you can get by writing better content and that's what the, the most important part of the plugin focuses on by trying to get you to understand what you should do to, to rank better. That's really cool. So I think that that's a, that's a really unique strategy and we're you're showing people this is how it's going to, to show up and this is, you can see right on, on the screen when I alter this, this is how it changes. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't come up with the snippet preview idea myself. Some other people did that, and Google even has one. Uh, but I was like, yeah, it's fun that I can check that somewhere else. But I actually want to be checking this while I'm writing a post because I forget about this shit all the time myself too. Uh, and I've been doing SEO for eight years, and I still forget to write a proper title sometimes because I'm lazy, just like everybody else is. So. Um, yeah, based on that, I was like, okay, I should make this easier on myself and, and everyone else. Uh, and I think I succeeded, but we're not there yet. There's, there's a lot more to do. And, um, well, at that point, I think it, it should be really easy to do SEO. It should be just uh, a side thought when you're doing the content.